Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kapaya Healing Spray and I've already pre-shuffled my cards to save time. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what is going on with the collective today. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys so, so much for booking all of your personal readings with me as well as all your tips. All of that helps me out so, so much. Um, especially those of you who book with me almost every single day. Um, even with um, me taking a break for a full week, um, you know, you guys weren't super pressed about like, you know, not getting your readings right away. You were more, more concerned in checking in and making sure that I was okay when I wasn't reaching out to you. So that is so appreciative. Um, I appreciate that so much, you guys. Um, thank you for being so patient and understanding no matter what is going on. All right, so we got our first six cards here. The first card out was the King of Swords in reverse. So some of you are dealing with a karmic masculine, a distorted masculine, someone who, you know, hasn't been truthful with you, someone who has manipulated with you, uh, manipulated you in the past and was doing these things, trying to gain control of you. With the Eight of Chalices here, I think you are finally gaining the strength that you need to walk away from this um, bad relationship, walk away from this situation. Um, with the King of Wands here, you know, you want someone who is going to show their love for you in a passionate way, in a way that shows that they're truly dedicated to you and that you have their hearts. With the High Priestess card here, you are fully aware of what it is you want in a partner. And with the Knave of Wands here, you know, you're over the players, you're over people who aren't giving you their all. Um, you are the Queen of Wands. You are someone who is super attractive, who knows exactly what they want. And you can attract and manifest so quickly and you are ready to get what you want. You don't want to waste your time anymore with these boys who are lying to you, playing games. Um, you are ready to move on to something better. With the Knight of Pentacles here, you know, you want someone to give you a true and stable offer of love. You want someone who's going to invest in you and your relationship. With the stars here, I think you've done a lot of healing on your own. Um, you know, after being taken advantage of by this King of Swords, you did what you needed to do to cut them off, to express how you feel, and to, you know, move on and grow on your own. With the Nine of Wands here, I think you were definitely trapped in your head for a very long time, unsure, you know, if you're going to be able to find better for yourself. Um, but with the Eight of Swords here, once the truth was revealed, you felt more confident in order to walk away and know that there is definitely better for you out there. With the Knight of Wands here, you know, you moved fast towards the passion um, of your own heart and, you know, wanting better for yourself. With a Ten of Chalices here, you want a true and everlasting love. And if you weren't getting it from this King of Swords in reverse, you know now that it is time to, you know, break down those walls, get out of your own head, and go after what it is you do want. With the Four of Swords here, you were ready to, you know, get yourself out of this box, free yourself rest and reflect on the mistakes that you've made in the past in order to get the true love that you want and deserve. And with the Ace of Chalices here, you are going to get it. Um, with the Six of Wands here, someone is super attracted to you and wants to, you know, pour into you, give you so, so much love. Um, with the Five of Wands here, this person has been watching you for a very long time. With the Four of Pentacles here, they were worried that they weren't going to be good enough for you. But with the Justice card here, Justice was finally called on the situation and it's going to force this person to finally step up and show up in your life. With the Six of Chalices here, this may be someone from your past that has been wanting to reconcile you with you for a long time. With the Ace of Wands here, this is my Twin Flame card in this deck. This person wants a new happy beginning with you and they want to spend the rest of their life with you. With the Five of Pentacles, they've just been struggling with how to express their love, especially if so, so much time has passed since you guys have talked. With the King of Pentacles here, they want to invest in you and invest in a relationship. They want to be your husband. They want to provide for you. Because with the Queen of Pentacles here, you know your worth and you 
are the complete full package. You are wifey vibes, you are strong and you're in your bag and you are getting everything that you want for yourself no matter what happens. With the tower card here, when you left this person, um, it caused a tower moment in this person's life. And with the hangman here, you know, they've been feeling stuck trying to work on themselves so that when they do come back to you, they are a better and changed person and they can do whatever it takes to convince you of their love. With the 10 of swords here, this person is fully well aware that they broke your heart in the past, but with the two of wands here, they want to come back together, plan out your future together, build a new stable foundation um, because the judgment was called on um, this relationship and they're finally woken up to you and your connection and they feel tied to you. They feel like they can't have happiness in their life without you in it. With the queen of swords, they're worried that you know you're going to be bitchy when they come towards um you they're worried that you know you're going to set some really strict boundaries and not um open your heart to them again but the three with the three of wands here they have so much passion and love in their heart with you so they're going to do whatever it takes to break down your walls and try to reconnect and rebuild this relationship with you with the emperor card here, this person wants to be your emperor. They want to be your everything. With the temperance card here, they know that you've been putting in a lot of work to heal your own heart. And they've been putting in the work that they need to to heal themselves as well to be better for you. With the wheel card here, they may have had a lot of options in the past. They may have been a player in the past, but they are getting rid of all of those options because they want to have you and only you in their life. With the strength card here, they are really just battling with themselves and their own self-confidence, worried that you're not going to take them back. But with the knave of pentacles in reverse, you know, this person is not going to be playing games anymore. They know that, you know, it's time to grow up and to be better and to learn from the mistakes that I've made in the past. With the chariot card here, they want to move forward in life with you and create a new, healthy, balanced relationship. With the Five of Swords, you know, there's not going to be any more lies and deception. Um, they have heavy nostalgia and they're really um, regretting the way they treated you in the past. With the Six of Swords, they want to find new balance again with you. And again, just build a happier and more stable foundation with you. So lots of loving vibes here. I think, you know, this was meant to happen for both of you um to end up breaking up and you know dealing with other people who weren't good for you so that you could come back together and be better versions of yourself so that this time around you both know you're not going to repeat the same mistakes so i'm being called to my love oracle that's my all never leafy deck again all my oracle decks are available for purchase and that info is in the down box below for you so this person that I'm channeling um, that loves you and wants to reconcile, I'm just going to see what love messages do they want to say to my collective today. All right. Looks like we got six cards or so. so. First card out was I'm so proud of you. So this person knows how much work you've been putting in to better yourself, do good at your job and just life in general. And this person is so proud of the way that you've grown up and glowed up. Um, I was too stubborn to admit you're the one for me. So again, this person really regrets, you know, not treating you right um, in the past. They thought they could find better, um, but they were just too stubborn to realize what they had in front of them. Next, we have, I love you so much. I was just too scared to admit it. So same energy, you know, this person did love you, even if they never said it, they were just too afraid of doing that. Um, and finally, you know, you know, really committing themselves to you and the relationship. Next we have, please don't forget about me. Again, it may have been a very long time since you guys have communicated or seen each other and they're just hoping that you haven't forgotten about them. Next we have, I know you're my person. Again, same with that judgment card. 
this person has finally woken up to this connection and they know that you are the person they're supposed to be with. And lastly, we have, I let others interfere with our connection. So this may be a secret that comes up when they come back to you. They're finally going to reveal the truth that, you know, they let family or friends, whoever didn't like you and didn't want them to be in this relationship, they're going to finally confess that other people sort of manipulated the situation and, you know, convinced them to walk away from you even if they didn't really want that. So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel, as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers. If you are brand new and anything resonated, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.